Scorpio. Hi, it's Lisa here from What's the Name Tarot. I'm here to do your monthly reading for March 2022. These are general readings only, so just take with you what resonates. Check your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs, any number synchronicities that may occur, and cross watches are welcome too. So, Scorpio. Overall, King of Pentacles, upright, success, overwhelmingly so. Now you can't see the pictures very well at the moment with the light, but that King of Pentacles is there. Getting control of finances, everything falling into place, love that. Present energies, the universe, it is reversed. Feeling like things aren't going in your favour, going your way here for some reason. Feeling like that, that's come to a grinding halt. It's crossed with the Princess of Swords. You're ready to get things moving again and get things happening towards that successful outcome. Clarify everything um, in this reading shortly. Strength area, King of Cups, not feeling like you're in control of your emotions, maybe feeling like your heart is actually running away, <laughs> running away from, from you, with you. Three of Cups, focus area, something to celebrate, focusing on something to celebrate right there, success overall. Past energies, the moon, could be dealing with the Pisces, hidden fears, when things are darker and greyer, that moon still shines clearly and brightly for you be able to have some clarity there. Incoming energies, the magus, it is reversed, not feeling like you're able to put things together in order to move forward here just at present. Again, we will clarify everything shortly, but just feeling like things have come to a grinding halt. What you need to know, hard work, it takes hard work, the seven of pentacles, but you've got that hard working attitude, I'm going to do this no matter what, and every time you sort something out, five more things pop out of place, but you still have that I can do it attitude, and I will do it attitude to get things to work in your favour. From the Seven of Pentacles to the Eight of Pentacles, how others see you. They see you very focused on work here and maybe missing some opportunities because you're not aware of what's going on around you. You're so focused on this hard work right here to try and get that successful outcome. Hopes and fears, Nine of Wands. Well, you're not wanting to go back, okay? You've got this clear path ahead. All these obstacles are behind you and you're not wanting to go back. So it is taking all this hard work here. Um, but your final outcome, you're still not feeling like that, that that justice is reversed. You're not feeling like you've had that good outcome for all the hard work that you've put in being reversed like that. Could be dealing with a Libra, but overall you may actually have all that success. Um, we will clarify everything and see here. So, Scorpio. King of Pentacles overall for the month. Success comes in many ways see why this is here. Justice up right there, four of pentacles, five of cups. Yeah, something, some sort of sadness that you're going through, you're not able to let go of, um, whether it's something, whether it's someone, but there is sweet justice here. There is good karma and a good result for the hard work you put in. To get to that final outcome, not sure why you're still feeling that, um, that it hasn't gone your way, in your favour. The universe reverses present energies. You have Ace of Swords, Temperance, Eight of Swords. It's all about being able to cut the crap out from the past and focus on this whole fresh new start. 
get things moving freely find other ways around things if you feel like things are blocking your way something or someone and um, get that universe upright and turning in your favor but it may mean that you have to veer off um, veer off course here but it may bring that whole fresh new start you're up for the challenge princess of swords with knight of wands eight of wands seven of pentacles and again it takes hard work it's not smooth sailing it's a rocky ride but make sure everyone's on the same page that communication is flowing and again you're not giving up you're putting this hard work in continuously but um, as I said has its ups and downs along the way strength area king of cups reversed you have the five of wands queen of wands princess of cups some conflicts some disagreements that you have to overcome here and um, there's love on offer you may be offering love to someone they may be offering love to you maybe a younger energy maybe someone with an age gap here or um, I say same-sex relationship different cultures different religions here this love is on offer maybe causing some conflict some disagreements here but you've got this confidence you've got this determination to go for this love that may just be a younger energy with that princess of cups something to celebrate focusing on that celebration that is upright ten of cups two of wands six of pentacles balance equal give and take always say if you do all the giving it means someone else is doing all the taking there's a lot of emotional support here a lot of emotional happiness something to celebrate and focusing on where you're heading towards love that Scorpio so clarifications do clear things up love it the moon and the past energies you have strength king of wands seven of cups yeah things may have been a bit darker and grayer in the past and you needed that clarity to explore all these options that were available in, back there not being overwhelmed by them being in control over where you're heading but it takes strength at times to explore options that um, that you are quite unaware that those options are even there The Magus reverse incoming energies. Five of Swords, Six of Wands, the Hand Man. I think you're feeling like you're in this battle, trying to make your way forward, and um, but every time you seem to take a step forward, what is it? One step forward, two steps back. You're feeling like you're banging your head against a brick wall and things aren't falling into place. Why that magician is upside down or reverse there? You've got the hanged man you may be waiting for someone to make their mind up and it may be now you just decide yourself make that choice make that selection You've got six of wands there there's victory here victory to get that magician upright and victory to walk away from that battle that's holding you back seven of pentacles what you need to know bloody hard work <laughs> nine of cups death nine of swords look at that for balance just had that six of pentacles up there as well in your focus area could be dealing with another scorpio your own energy there but balanced each side emotional happiness and stability and also some stress and some sleepless nights here but it's leaving the past in the past putting that hard work in to release those that stressful energy and focus on this whole new chapter ahead this whole new beginning and um, that whole transition kicking into gear love that Scorpio how others see you eight of pentacles you have the queen of cups three of wands ten of wands yeah I think it's taken a bit for you to see the bigger picture here see a situation for what it really is someone for who they really are maybe in a negative way or maybe in a positive way but clarifying that eight of pentacles being able to shift that vision around to see that bigger picture but it releases this burden of feeling like you're on this journey on your own I think you finally realize that um, you're not on your own here 
may not be so obviously so, but there is um, emotional happiness and support around you. You're proud of how far you've come emotionally through some situation here. Having that clarity. Hard work releases that Ten of Wands energy. Brilliant. Hopes and fears, Nine of Wands. You have the Fool, Queen of Swords, the Magician. <laughs> I love that. I think you're ready to take a completely different approach towards something or someone and just jump in two feet and all. Take a chance and go for it. You're putting pieces into place still. You're not wanting to jump into the complete unknown, but um, that magician is there. And now you've got this Queen of Swords, pretty direct up front. Let's get this going. Let's get this moving. Different approach than probably what you would usually take. Usually probably cool, calm and collected. And now you're ready to just go for it. Love that. <laughs> And Scorpio, final outcome, justice reversed. Get this up right. The Empress, Six of Swords, King of Swords. Love it. Very logical, very level-headed, taking action here to move forward. Past this outcome that you felt wasn't, wasn't fair towards you. You're very aware of your own feelings and very aware possibly that that is done and dusted finished with and you are able to move forward here with that six of swords even if it's done in secret to start with but that level-headedness that logicality with that king of swords taking direct action and leaving that past in that past as we said so i do love it scorpio let's see what the universe has to say to finish with The Hierophant, Ten of Pentacles, Two of Cups reversed. There is success here. You're ready to follow your heart, follow your gut instinct and do this your way. You're not caving into peer pressure of others telling you what to do now, who to be with, where to work. Somebody may be trying to prevent you from being with someone. It may be from that Princess of Cups we had before, but at the same time, why well, this is reversed right here. But you're ready to follow your own heart, follow your gut instinct and go for it. And it may actually turn this Two of Cups upright. And I said, you're not, on, not alone in this journey. Even if you're not sure, you know, there's nobody right there in front of you right now. But um, you're not alone. You're ready to do this your way and claim that success. Love it. So Scorpio, that's what I have. Do hope it helped. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time. See ya. Bye.